In this module, we will continue working with SPSS, where we will learn how to build the graphs. We'll continue working with the ulcer recurrence data, where we do have different variables. If we want to draw any type of graph, as we already learned few in frequencies and explore command, we can go to the explore command if we want to get the stem and leaf plot, histogram, and some normality plots, as well as box plots. Moreover, we can go to the frequencies command where we can get bar chart, pie chart, and histograms for our variables. But that's not where we often stop. But we always go for some more graphs. And for this, there's a specific menu of graphs. One can either use chart builder or one can directly go to legacy dialog where there are various options given to us. One can draw histogram either from the analyze command from frequencies or one can use graph legacy dialog and directly come here. Similar is true for box plot as well as if you want to get the, the graphs with the error bars. And there are various other types in the legacy dialog. In the chart builder, we also have the similar options. Here, in the first palette, it's, it's asked for, it gives the list of all the variables. Right next to it, the chart preview will be available. One should know that the preview given in the chart preview is not the final chart that we're gonna get. It's, it's only, it's only a, a, an example given here or an illustration that how your chart will look like. Then there's a gallery of charts where there are bar charts. This is a simple bar chart. If someone wanna draw a simple bar chart, you can simply click here and drag it up. As one drag it up, it will automatically show element properties. If in case it doesn't show from there, one can simply click element properties right here. In element properties, it asks for different properties of our graphs. Since right now we are asking for a bar, hence it's, it is showing bar here. It will also show different variable according to the axis. In statistic, it shows various options. It all depends what do we wanna get. But most of the time with a bar graph, it's count. And if someone wanna display error bars, one can use this and select the bars accordingly. Moreover, one can also change the way they wanna look, they wanna view the bars. Right now, this is a bar chart, but if you click here, I beam, it will show, instead of bars, it will show beams. If I simply click apply, you will, so, you will see it. It shows beams. One can also change it to whiskers. Click apply and it will convert into the whiskers. If I uncheck display error bars, this is gonna show it much more clear. And here we can see the difference between I-beam where we have the beams here and we have the only the whiskers plot here. So most commonly we, with the categorical variables, we try to construct the simple bar charts. On counts, one can also change it to the percentage, cumulative count, 
or some other value or an average value as well. So there are various other options available. So one can check it out pretty easily. Then there is a multiple bar chart. There is a subdivided bar chart available. And that's how the bar, all these charts will look like. SPSS also provides an option to construct three-dimensional charts, where here it is a three-dimensional simple bar chart. It could be three-dimensional multiple bar chart and three-dimensional subdivided bar chart, as well as one can get simple error bars or clustered bar charts. Similarly, we have the line charts. If you want to treat with one variable, we're going to use the first one. If you want to look at one variable at a different level of another variable, we can go for the multiple lines. We have area chart, pie chart, scatter or dot chart, which is often used if you want to show some relationship between one or two or more than two variables. Then there is option for histogram. High and low chart, box plot could be drawn from here. And here uh, it gives option for one single bar uh, box whisker plot. Then there will be clustered box and whisker plot when we want to draw the box whisker plot for three variables at a time where one variable will be on the x-axis, other will be on, y, on, on the y-axis, and the third one will be the label that talks about the colors of the bars here. And the other one is simple box, box plot, which, con which is constructed for two variables when we are measuring one quantitative variable at three different levels of a categorical variable. And then there is a dual axis chart. There are a few basic elements one can choose from here. Similarly, this is the way that uh, how do you want to display your chart? You can always check on these values here, these options here. Similarly, for each chart, if you want to get the title one, you one can type it in here. Title 2 can also be typed it in here. Subtitle, footnotes, footnotes, everything could be done within SPSS here. And to make your chart more presentable, one should always try to bring in the titles, subtitles, and footnotes right here. So let's draw the simple bar chart right now. To draw the simple bar chart, we already know this is done for a categorical variable, and we have a categorical variable in the treatment group. Just dragging the variable treatment group onto the x-axis, it will automatically show us a display that how your chart might look like this isn't necessarily true that the preview displayed here is going to be the same as the real chart. On the y-axis, there are counts. One can change the counts from just numbers to the percentages. Press OK. As soon as you press OK, it's going to give you the chart out there. Right now, since we clicked on the summary that we want to obtain is the percent, that's why it has given us the percentages for treatment group A and treatment group B. And similar way, one can construct many other charts within, within SPSS. Thank you.